Hi everyone, I'm Anna and welcome to the channel. So it's Inktober Day 5 today. I've been feeling a little bit of creative burnout. I know it's a little early, only 5 days into the challenge when I've got 31 total, but I think it's all the black tones I've been using. It's really irritating in a way to keep layering and layering and layering and not getting the depth I particularly want without spending like hours on a piece. And I'm so used to working in colour where you can just pick up a darker colour and it works perfectly. That's I think it's just burning me out a little bit. So today I thought I would do a bigger piece to attempt to spark my creativity. So this is on 10 by 7 size paper. And it's much bigger than my 5 by 7 paper I've been using for the previous illustrations. I'd say the biggest difference is the amount of ink I've used. For the background in particular on this piece, I layered a few times and I used up so much more ink compared to my other pictures just for one layer because obviously you have to use more to cover the paper. I wanted to have fun with this illustration which is why I stuck an arrow in her back because I particularly like drawing gore. It's not really that gory but it's still a little bit gory. I particularly like drawing injuries though especially involving arrows or swords it's a weird thing of mine. I have a lot of illustrations where there's something injured on the character. I really like drawing blood um, with this one obviously it's only black and white so you can't really see if it's red or not but I actually think I like that, it's a little bit more subtle. The background in this piece is a lot more simpler, basic, kind of faded compared to my last couple. I didn't really want to refine it that much, I kind of wanted a more of a distant effect. I really didn't want to overpower the main character in the image because I feel like that happened with yesterday's image that I don't particularly know if I can see the character strongly against the background. I still like yesterday's image though. But yeah, so this image I decided to go much more simpler with the background, just hinting at what's there, which is obviously trees and apparently a forest. I'm not very good at drawing forests though. I like these ivy leaves I put up in the corner. One's meant to be wrapping around a tree and one's just kind of hovering in the corner. I particularly like how they look. I don't particularly draw leaves like that. I usually draw, you know, just a simple shape. But I like this one. They're kind of like little hearts. So my goal for the rest of these Inktober pictures is to try and relax a little bit more. Even using this bigger piece of paper irritated me a little bit because I wanted to keep all my Inktober pieces on the same size paper but I thought I really want to use a bigger sheet and if I'm not feeling creatively inspired I know working on different size papers do inspire me so I thought you know I'll just screw it we're gonna have a nice big sheet in the middle of my Inktober series. I think what I want to focus on for the next pieces as well is doing more injuries. I know that drawing injuries in my pieces make me feel very happy. I enjoy drawing the blood and the you know the actual thing that's injured them or scars so I might put more of that in my future images to stop any more creative burnout. Because of the background being so big I had to use one of my bigger watercolour brushes. I wasn't quite happy about that. I wanted to keep ink brushes separate to my watercolour brushes just in case it ruined the brush but I really didn't want any like streaky marks in the ink. With ink obviously it's very easy to get blotchy marks because of how it dries so I used a bigger brush to try and avoid that in the background. Anyway, I think it's about the end of the video. I'll see you all tomorrow for the next Inktober piece. Bye!